How's it going everyone? My name is AJ and today I'm going to answer a fitness question. Muscle ups are arguably one of the most impressive calisthenic moves you can perform. And despite being able to do countless pull ups and dips, many struggle to put the two together. I used to be one of these people, but with a few minor form adjustments, I was able to figure it out instantly. And this is in spite of me being heavy and not having the greatest shoulder mobility. In this video, I'm going to explain three reasons why you might be struggling to get your first muscle up and what you can do to instantly fix it from a scientific perspective. So without further delay, let's get started. In order for these suggestions to work, you should be able to complete 5 to 10 strict pull-ups, 5 to 10 dips, and be somewhat familiar with a kipping movement. These pieces are recommended not just from a strength perspective, but for safety as well. Neglecting one of these may expose weakness, which could potentially lead to injury. If you can confidently handle all three moves, let's have a look at three other skills you might not be as familiar with, which will be very helpful getting you up and over the bar. First is the kipping pull-up. Kipping generates added upward momentum to help get you up towards the bar. It is essentially an alteration between arched and hollow body positions while hanging. As you transition from arch to hollow body, pull hard on the bar and thrust your hips upwards into the pull up before pushing away from the bar and into hollow body and then back to arch body to finish the rep. Next skill is the chest to bar pull up. If you can touch the bar with your chest, in theory you have enough height to get up and over it, especially if you can do so from a dead hang position. Third Third move is knees to elbows. Straight arm strength from a hanging position is super helpful to getting up and over the bar. Even if you can do strict pull ups and dips for days, having no straight arm strength puts you at a significant disadvantage. If you're struggling with this move, I recommend practicing the following progressions in the meantime, which I've ranked from least to most difficult. But if you can complete 5 to 10 kipping pull ups, 3 to 6 chest to bar pull ups, and 8 to 12 knees to elbows unbroken, you should have enough strength to get the muscle. So let's take a closer look and address three common technique issues that might be holding you back. You're probably noticing a massive difference between the quality of my footage in this video and all of my previous ones. I have Kevin Raposo to thank for this. Kevin is a sports photographer and video producer who posts tutorial content demonstrating how he creates pictures that look like this. So if you're interested, head over to his channel and don't forget to subscribe. The first issue is grip. You cannot realistically get up and over the bar with traditional pull-up grip. Instead of gripping the bar from your fingertips, grab it a bit closer to your wrists. This might feel weird at first, but it is necessary. Changing this alone along with a strong upward thrust may be enough to get you up and over. And even if it doesn't, at the very least establish good habits for when the time eventually comes. Second is your starting arch body position. Many people start directly underneath the bar and do a weak arch body before driving into that hollow body hold. You're missing out on a lot of potential power this way. Try starting slightly behind the bar and jump directly into a hanging arch body hold. From arch body hold, engage the lats and straight arm push yourself into the hollow body position. This extra momentum boost could make up those extra few inches of height needed to finish the rep. Third is the lack of hip pop. This is especially an issue for people who are very upper body dominant. Newsflash, your hips are extremely powerful and can contribute a significant amount to getting the appropriate height needed to get up and over the bar. As you start to exit arch body hold, incorporate that straight arm pull and then explode the hips up towards the bar. This added power should give you more than enough height to get your chest and shoulders up and over and make it easier to attempt subsequent repetitions afterwards. If after trying all of these form adjustments you still haven't got the muscle up, spend about a week or so practicing the progressions I discussed earlier and add in some periodic mobility. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it, share it with your friends, subscribe, and turn notifications on. Thank you so much for watching and stay strong.